Right now on 12 News at 6, we start with breaking new details on the deaths of two children with Valley ties. The bodies of J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan were found last week, buried in their stepfather's backyard. Tonight, new documents show reveal what led investigators to search the property. Good evening, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Tram Mai along with Caribe Devine. Mark Curtis has the night off. We want to get straight to Team 12's Erica Stapleton. She's been following this case from the start and joins us live with more on these new details. Erica? Guys, we first want to warn the folks at home that a lot of what we're learning right now is very graphic, especially because it involves two children. Their mother, Lori Vallow Daybell, remains behind bars in Idaho, charged with deserting her children, while her new husband, Chad Daybell, also behind bars, accused of concealing evidence. Now, one name that stands out in this affidavit is the children's uncle, Lori's brother, Alex Cox. Investigators in Idaho say they were able to trace pings from Alex Cox's cell phone, putting him for an extended period of time in Chad Daybell's backyard the day after Tylee was last seen alive in early September and the day after JJ was last seen alive in late September. And when investigators searched the property last week, they say they used Alex Cox's cell phone pings to find the location where the bodies were ultimately found. Investigators say they found the children's remains in two different spots, one of them in a pet cemetery by a fire pit and according to the documents at least one of the bodies was dismembered. Police say Chad was watching them search and when he got in his SUV to leave they stopped him and arrested him for having human remains on his property. Now at this point no one is charged in the children's death but investigators do say that more charges are expected. As for Alex Cox he died in his Gilbert home back in December. The medical examiner here in Maricopa, Maricopa County ruled that he died of natural causes but please still stay. That investigation is ongoing. Obviously, there is a lot more to unpack with these new documents, so we'll be tracking it and we'll have more online and tonight on 12 News at 10 o'clock. For now, we're live in Phoenix. Erica Stapleton, 12 News.